Hello everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop and I've got a journal here that I recently finished. This is a paper bag journal that I just recently did and it's got the vintage children themes to it. The colors are kind of a peachy blush color um, and I've never done a paper bag journal exactly like this before so this was kind of new but I thought it really turned out great. This will be for sale in my Etsy store. So let's get started on this beautiful book here. All right, on the front here, I have taken this vintage lady, this vintage little girl here, and I put her on here. I embellished it up the top with some lace, some butterflies, uh, this pretty paper flower here, and some peachy color lace, this lace here that I've tea dyed, and um, put some peachy lace on the side here. Uh, I did use muslin to sew all my paper bags together and put this seam binding ribbon on here. On the back side, I have this other beautiful vintage late little girl on here and have put this crocheted um, collage up here, this real pre pretty peach flower rosette and some little bling down here, just little da dangles and some green, um, kind of got leaves, little um, embroidery stuff that I have and just layered it with a couple layers of different really pretty laces. So let's get started on this book and show it to you right quick. On the inside I have taken embossed this brown um, bag here and put this little place here you can write. It's kind of done up in a peachy theme. Got a real pretty rose on it and in here I have this couple of little cards here that you can use and um, write on the back side of them and I like this. This is um, Graphic 45 I think. A little deal there. And this right here is a embossed card that I did and just cut this little girl out really pretty. And uh, let's bring this in a little bit. That's too much. Got this crocheted flower here that I did on there. It's got some gauze behind there. I layered it a little bit. And this is an advertisement and it's kind of got that peachy color to it. I took and sewed around the side and sewed this little pocket on here. And just put some little things in here, some little ephemera. This is something that you can use to write on and have tea dyed it up real pretty. And let's see. All my little paper clips, I've put seam binding on them. This little girl here is, um, you could take her off. I sewed this little piece of pretty lace. It's got a peach ribbon inside of it. And you can write on the back of that, write on this. Let's see, uh, this is another bag. I've taken all these bags and I put muslin and laid them kind of flat like that and put muslin and put it down with um, Fabri-Tac glue and made, that's how I made this. So I thought it really turned out good. Let's see, here's some more real pretty little girl here and some more writing space. More journaling cards. And I put some little kind of cream colored um, ruffled ribbon there. This is a glassing paper bag that I recently got. It's um, kind of got that brown finish to it. And this, I uh, just kind of did up this little tag here, a little, little, little charm right here on there. I did it up and kind of put it on one of those little bulbs, those little, um, I don't know what you call them. But anyway, I thought it turned out cute. You can actually take this off. And this girl right here turned out really pretty. Put some music paper behind her. Behind her. That's a glassing bag. And here is some more journaling paper here. And this is actually an envelope, and I just did some mod podging, and this is kind of a peachy green color. Put this real pretty, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, lace, kind of multi-different different thing. Got a little half uh, button on there, so turned out really cute. Here's some more little cards I put in there. And I really love this picture of this girl here. And this is kind of a texture peachy paper that I have gotten. This is parchment paper that I had taken and tea dyed on. Love this picture right here. That's so cute, that little girl and her, her little baby doll. 
and they're capped. And this paper right here, I put on here, I made like a little pocket. I use this because I really love this paper and the uh, it's really kind of got a peachy, really vintage look about it. And I put the stuff in here. It's a real pretty girl here on the, and then some more little stuff here that you can use to journal with. Another little pocket card. Oh, these are so hard to get out sometimes. I just want to stick in here. Oh, isn't that pretty though? I love this paper. I love the colors of it. They're kind of a peachy mint green color. Let's get this all back in here. And I actually sewed this pocket on. Here's a small pocket um, paper bag that I did up. And that's a little sticker that I had. And it says Cherish. And then here's just a little card, two little cards. I did up and put that little um, paper flower up there. This is actually a card that uh, I got. And I really loved it because I like the collage look it has on here. <clears throat> and I took and used this right here and put one of those... Tim Holtz paper dolls on there. I just love this right here. It says, see the dog and the cat, see the boy and the girl. And it just kind of reminds me of, of school kids. There's a little paper flower. Here's something that I just kind of stuck in there. Um, this is something you can take and, and do something with. This is actually one of those vellum um, little sticker deals. And I didn't actually do anything with it because I said, well, whoever could use it in here or you know, stick it down or use it somewhere else. Here's a little tag I made up with this vintage little girl on here and some cutouts, did some sewing on the bottom. I thought it turned out really cute. I, I love the, I love that. And I love this, this bag right here that I have. More journaling space. This was really fun to make. Um, like I said, um, I was inspired because somebody asked me to actually make them one. So I did a little research and I kind of figured out how to make one up. Another real pretty girl in the back. Got some journaling on the back, on this back side. I love these tags here. And this is, um, my sister gifted me uh, for my birthdays. This little kit had a lot of pretty cut out butterflies and flowers and that beautiful lady there a little girl put some of that lace I mean that gathered lace on there this is just some pretty scrapbook paper and I had that little girl in the front so I decided to use that on there there's a little library pocket I did up it's got some of this torn little writing space there that I sewed together and that's actually got a pocket back here too Pocket here, here, and here. And then some more little writing paper. I love this. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. I love the color of it. And I love this little boy right here. It says tulip soap. And I just put stamped on the back so you could do some journaling. You can write on here. This is another um, advertisement. I stamped on the back. And then this is an, that other envelope. You can use that. And here's a guest check that my mother gave me and I tea dyed it and it came looking like that on the back. I always love the way that turns out. And this is just a little collage I did up. Um, I didn't actually uh, glue that down. So you could actually either glue it down here or you can Take and put it somewhere else if you wanted to. I left that open to journal on if you wanted to journal on that. And back on there. And that's the back side of that card. And I just did up a little um, cutouts here. A little girl sticky thin. Some real pretty kind of eyelash trim that I have. And then that's just a cutout from book page. There's another collage I did up to on this little paper bag. And I like that little girl. She says she's trying to, I guess she's trying to sell root beer. And here's another little envelope. I mean, a little pocket. That little girl's so cute. Oh, 
She's such a little doll. And there's that beautiful scrapbook paper. And I did this one up here, this little girl here with some gauze behind her. And I did some Mod Podging. This is a napkin I put on there. And that's just a little butterfly stuck on there. And this right here is another little collage I made up with a small picture and some eyelash trim and book page behind it. And this here is another little cute picture of some kids playing. I love that picture. And then here is uh, some music paper. I'm just stuck in there so you could take that out and use it somewhere else. Take that off of there because it's hard to get that out. This is a glassine bag. And then here is another little journaling page. And then this right here is another picture of this little cute little girl standing there. And here's that brown paper bag there. Let's see what's like, what I have in there, I'm not for sure. A cute little picture of some more um, advertisement and I just kind of left it that way. You could do some journaling on there and that's another on the back side. So these colors are really, really pretty. They complement the, this book really well. I love that paper. The butterflies on there. And then I sewed this down and this is some really, really pretty peach lace, stretchy kind of lace I had. Um, this is just a little applique embellishment there. Um, it's got a little peachy rosette, a little pearl on there. And let's see what's in this bag. These bags are really nice because you can use them, you know, for like little um, pockets. So another little cute picture of kids. Look, they've been fishing. I'm not for sure what they got in there. And then this little bingo card. And another little pocket here with some more goodies. More ephemera. Another little cute picture of a girl. And this little girl right here is really cute. And I have some little applique lace, kind of like um, wedding applique. And let's see, what else do we have here? And this really pretty picture here, I thought turned out cute. And this is a um, little app, um, collage I made up a while back. And I just cut that out and put some of that gauze material behind there. And I didn't have anything in this one, so I said I would put this in there. Love this picture here. It's kind of got the same color tone, so we'll stick that down in there. And that's that. And then I wanted to show you this I'm going to send with it. This is a little guest check I made up recently and did a video on how to. Um, it's got a little vintage lady girl on here just peeping through. Put that real pretty garland, uh, kind of blushy, peachy color. So I'm going to send that with it. And then I made up this little booklet that you can actually write in. And I put this really pretty little girl on the front and this gathered lace again. And it's just, love this paper right here I recently got. And this is some um, paper that has um, been with that, all those placemat laces. And cute little girls there, some book page that I tea dyed, some little real pretty paper and some little fold out of some advertisements I did. And this is just that index card and the little, some more little advertisements out of a crochet book that I had. A little ABC. This is um, Edith Holden paper. And I did put these on the end where I did my signature. These little charms is made with love and a little heart. And I love the, the Edith Holden paper. So pretty. So anyway, this really is neat little, I love that paper and that pretty. Turned out really cute. And a lot of writing space in this little book I made. A little cute girl with her baby doll. So here is this. 
and this will be for Tilla Macy store, so y'all check it out and check out my other videos. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.